All right, looks like we are live, live on YouTube, live on Facebook. Luke, need your fingerprint. All right. And we'll try to go live on Instagram. Let's see how this works. Three lives at once? Hot bread, Z. Come on now, you're live. Joe Simons. Luke Simons. Luke Diamonds. <laughs> First and foremost, regardless of where you are watching us, <laughs> Happy National Paddle Tail Day. I'll Let's uh, show everyone what our boy, or are waiting for people to what join. This is the biggest paddle tail ever created. Uh, four that, and a half? That foot? we've seen. Yeah, four and a half feet. It is the ultimate slam shady paddle tail. So if you guys missed it, today is National Paddle Tail Day. So check out, just check, check out the size of the tail. Probably <laughs> one of the top nine best holidays in the country. And we're going to do something big today. We're going to be giving away at least a thousand packs, maybe more, of these brand new Slam Shady 2.0 paddle tails. If you're getting on now and you're wondering, how do I get one? Well, you guys are lucky. I'm seeing some people on. All you have to do is go to SlamShady.com. SlamShady.com. A couple quick rules. One pack per person per address. If we see anyone trying to beat the system... We have a lot of little things in place looking for cheats, if you will. We had a guy in the past. Here's the deal. If you cheat the system, you get no Slam Shady. No Slam Shady for you. We're not going to get your money back. All you have to do, it's free, is just pay the shipping. But please, please, please don't ruin it for everyone. That is the only rule is that one per person and that you use them. Put these to the test. We're going to talk all about why we went with this new three and a half inch profile. We're going to talk about the history of paddle tails on National Paddle Tail Day. We're going to do some rigging. What do we got, Luke? We got yeah, a couple we'll different show, jig heads. We'll show the rigging because rigging, you, you need to obviously have a good lure, but the, the rigging is, is just as important. So we're going to go through rigging for skimming the shallows, for covering the, the mid depth, and then for getting a little bit deeper, and then even how to do it with being weedless as well. So we're going to cover all the rigging. And uh, obviously, for those who buy, there's a, we actually have a, a lesson on how this is all done. And so, as soon as you do, uh, you know, place your order. Assuming you do, uh, you're going to email with the link that'll show all this in much more detail, yep. close up, so you can know exactly how everything's working. Yep. And if you're just getting on SlamShady.com, claim your free pack. That's SlamShady.com. And once you get your free one, if you want more, because I know a lot of people have emailed us saying they want as many as they can get, you can also go to Shop dot saltstrong.com hey instagram peeps hey facebook peeps hey youtube peeps <laughs> that shop dot saltstrong.com and you can order as many as you want there but this one is on the house you get one free per person we have at least a thousand let's uh let's show the guys over here Corey, micah let's see if i can move this without knocking it over look at these gents here been packing what for 24 hours have you guys slept yet nope <laughs> and carol in the very back there <laughs> Facebook's out of luck. Facebook, yeah. you're out of luck. Sorry, I'll see if I actually. Here. I'll get up and see if I can move it over real quick. Let's pray this doesn't shift off. Hey. And we got Cody back here behind the camera. So guys, we've been waiting quite some time to do this. In the quick history, because I know a lot of you are saying, well, hey, what happened with, with Z-Man? Uh, nothing. We're still doing stuff with Z-Man. Still a great partner. Still love the Z-Man lures. But we had a little bit of a problem with Z-Man. We <laughs> sent them too much business. And here's what I mean by that. When we first did that deal with Z-Man, they were excited. We were excited. We came up with the Slam Shady Color that was tried and true, that was tested with you know our now 12,000-plus insider members we knew the color worked. The color was, I mean, it was proven to work. And we ordered like, what, three, 4,000 packs? Yeah, the first order, yeah. Which is still a lot, and that was like a good number for Z-Man, good number for us. And you guys, you amazing inshore saltwater anglers and our club members started buying these like crazy, started using these like crazy, and they started working like crazy. We had so many inshore slams caught up. This went up to like 47 different species now caught on this color lure and to give you guys an idea of how many we were ordering our last order with z-man which kind of put them behind really far behind we ordered 175,000 slam shady paddle tails 
that's like more than Bass Pro orders for any given color of a specific mold. And to kind of give you guys an idea of what that means for Z-Man and why I put them behind is on a given machine, so they have different machines per, per molds. So that mold, the Minnow Z, which is one of their top selling molds, they can usually produce and, and like, you know, get them to cool down and actually have a legitimate lure, about 10,000 Minnow Z, so 10,000 Slam Shadies in a day. We put in an order for 175,000. It literally took their machine on the Minnow Z up for, I mean, almost three full weeks. And they're like, guys, you're killing us. Like, this is literally the biggest order we've ever had for a single color and a, and a single thing. So we talked about it and we're like, guys, we need to, we need to have a, a different plan. So we started going out and testing different molds. We tested quite a few of them. We knew the color worked. The color was proven to work. Some of the feedback we heard from you guys the the, the Z-Man material is tough to beat. I mean, it's some yeah. of the strongest out there, if not the strongest. Absolutely. The pro is that it's strong. The yep. con is that it's hard to rig. Hard so to we, rig. We did yep. have a lot of people saying they had trouble rigging, and uh, and that was a big factor that we put into the new the new design. And it's really a new design and a new material. Yep. Same color that we know works. Slam shady. And Hashtag then, uh, slam shady. Yeah. Still a paddle tail. Obviously, just a slightly different design. Has a little bit more vibration. Um, and it's not quite as durable like uh, you know pinfish. Pufferfish will eat anything, so pufferfish will still get yep. Z-Mans. Uh, for these, you know, they, they don't last quite as long, but it's I, I feel like it's a good blend between ease to rig. Uh, the, what you'll see and if they're not there. lasting as long, that means you're getting bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they definitely get strikes, and and much much easier to rig. Whether you're talking, especially with the weighted hooks that will cover. But also with jig heads as well as the uh, the Texas side jig. Yep, heads as well. and then two other things. These are scented, so now we have a scented. The Z-Man was not scented. These are scented with uh, proprietary papau. Oh, the orders are coming in already. I just see twelve of them already. Uh, already came in since we've been talking here. Uh, man, these smell delightful. <laughs> just, wa- just wafting. Oh, in. just wafting <laughs> it in. Taking that good scent. Yeah, when you get your pack. You can see this is the new pack here. We're calling the Slam Series, made for our Insider Club. Uh, as you guys, if you're just joining now, free pack for you. We have at least a thousand. You guys can see here all of the packing going on. I have more down here. That's I think 200 in there, and there's another couple hundred in there that are already pre-packed and ready to go. We just need your address so we can ship them to you. Um, so we talked about scent. The other thing is, is action. Um, I had a, a friend on Instagram ask me you know, about these new ones and says, hey, what's the action like? The action is some of the best we've ever seen. Because it's slightly different material, it's not going to be as buoyant. And this thing has crazy action on the drop. We've yeah. done a couple videos, too, just showing how many strikes you're getting on the drop. And, and that's why we think this is going to be the best lure, the most consistent lure, I'm not going to say the best lure, but the most consistent lure that anybody can use to go out there and catch inshore slams. Once again, if you're just joining, go to slamshady.com. That's slamshady.com to claim your free pack right now. Open up different browsers so you can watch this while uh, while placing your work. Yeah, don't leave us. We're going to, we're going to be doing some fun stuff today. Yeah. And and so here's, here's the the paddle tail. And this is, this is when, this is why I like this one. This is now my favorite paddle tail of all. Because I can rig it on this weighted hook, this is what I've been using up in the shallows. If I'm if I'm going over shallow grass flats or shallow oyster reefs, uh, this has been an extremely good bait. And it's been working in the winter, and it'll only get better. And uh, as the spring comes, as more bait fish start showing up in the shallows. But as Joe said, the Oops. paddle tail sold another one. <laughs> Ring the cowbell. Sold another one. <laughs> yeah, waters are flying, guys. Think, Thank, Thank you wild. so much. <laughs> Slamshady.com. Claim your free pack of these brand new lures. All you have to do is put them to the test, cover the super small shipping fee. So Sorry to interrupt. Back but. to where I was when that cowbell came into play. Oh, it's going to be flying. So the, yeah, the reason why this tail, why the vibration and, and the action on the drop is really important is because this, uh, this profile has a thinner profile leading up to the tail and the actual tail itself is a, is a little bit wider than most. And so just even when rigged on a weighted hook, as it's falling, this tail is still is still fluttering. And we'll do some underwater video showing this versus others, but it is, this is remarkably, it is noticeably different uh, as far as the tail action, which is why we really like this, this profile. And back to the weighted hooks is another big thing too. It's small, but it's important is that the head, the very front of it, the head part, it's, uh, it's not flat. If it's flat, that just doesn't go through the water quite as smoothly. 
Um, so this has a rounded, a rounded head, and uh, that just enables just better action in the water when rigged on a weighted hook. Right, show all three cameras for, here. Code for, for a jig head, it. yeah, for a jig head, you it's it's nice to have the flat, the flat front, but for a weighted hook, you do not want it. And when you are, let me see that one. You when go. you are just rigging on a jig head, the easiest way to convert it is literally just to peel off a part. It's pretty tough. You have to grab pretty good. But when I'm rigging on a, on a jig head, I now just tear off the, the head so it's a, little bit, it's a little bit more of a flat front. That's great for jig heads, but for weighted hooks, having the more aerodynamic head is much better. makes a big difference. And again, uh, when you do place your order, you'll see a detailed video showing all this and exactly how to do it. Yep. Oh, more orders coming in. And there's seven per pack, so we ended up going with seven. It's a lucky number. If you guys ever seen Seinfeld, Costanza wanted to name his own kid, seven. So we <laughs> went with seven in this pack. And once again, all we ask of you is to put them to the test. We are trying to still break a world record with the most amount of species caught on a single lure profile slash color, which is Slam Shady. We're up to 47 right now. Thank you guys so much for all the pictures and videos you've sent in. Uh, it is crazy how consistent this lure is. And let's let's talk about why. Like, why, why the paddle tail? I mean, we're here celebrating one of the finest days in American history, <laughs> National Paddle Tail Day. Why is the paddle tail so effective? Well, the paddle tail, it, it's a lure that anybody can use. The, the tail does a lot of action, so the, the angler isn't responsible for having to, like, a, like a split tail, like a fork tail jerk bait. The angler really has to do some action to make the lure look and dart nice in the water. Uh, with the paddle tail, a brand new, I, I take kids out using this. We took Shauna when she was like seven or yeah, maybe Yeah, seven-year-old daughter slaying them. Catching trout on the flats because all you have to do is cast it out and reel it in. That can work, that can work really well because again, the, that tail is as it's just being reeled straight, nothing fancy happening, that tail sitting there fluttering, it's causing vibration, it's attracting the fish's attention, and it just looks like, uh, like a bait fish. So that's, that's, that's number one, it's just easy. But for advanced anglers, right, um, you can, obviously if the fish are a little bit more lethargic, you can still jig it, right, the, the double twitch that we typically call it, it's twitch, twitch, pause, drop, twitch, twitch, pause, that is extremely good on getting strikes. That works great for the split tail. Also works great on the paddle tails as well. So the reason why I like paddle tails is because it is, it is just, an, it's, in my opinion, the ultimate bait where it can catch pretty much any type of fish that eats small bait fish. Um, and it doesn't have to be any fancy retrieve style. Obviously, as you get more advanced, you can do better than a beginner, but a beginner can get this one bait, just, just a quick direction on how to rig it, and catch fish. And it's even as we've seen in the what the last video we did, because we've been using this, by the way, this this version of Slam Shady all year. You know, we had uh, the great maybe, talk maybe with for this one in particular, just like four four months. Either not, not well, all year, uh, all year in twenty twenty, not, all this not year. a year, all this year. Yes, correct. yes, yes. Good correction. Yeah. All all year in twenty twenty, and you had the one where we were both catching fish. Your tail had been bitten off by a puffer and still killing it, even even without the tail, which is. It kind of turned yeah. almost like a little jerk shad. Yeah, so now, and, and I, it happened by accident. I just, uh, something, bit, a puffer fish got the tail, and I was fishing docks, and I actually caught a couple redfish on the tailless bait. And I really, the, the reason why is because without the tail, it drops a little bit faster, and I was fishing docks a little bit deeper than normal. It was like about eight feet, eight feet deep at the end. And so with the quarter ounce jig head that I'm usually using in like, say, four to six feet of water, um, that just wasn't getting down deep enough with the tail. And so once the tail was gone, it was dropping faster, which was making it get in the strike zone better. And so now, if I'm fishing deeper docks, I'll literally just, perp just pull off the tail on my own, and, uh, and it works surprisingly good. As long as it's rigged properly, even without the tail, it can work properly. But again, now we now we're basically have a jerk bait, which requires the angler to make it, make it look better in the water. So that's not for beginners, but, uh, but the cool thing is, yeah, even if something does bite the tail off, it still can catch a ton of fish. And we actually did that podcast uh, video, and I was using the tailless one the whole time and caught yeah. the, the biggest red of the day. Yeah, so basically all of our videos this year, 2020, have been with this paddle tail. We had that talk with Daniel Nussbaum from um, Z-Man back really in no November when we realized <laughs> that we were just like, they're, they're not, no one's meant to do this many. And a question came up, who's manufacturing? We are. I mean, these are ours. This is something you cannot buy these in stores. You will not see Slam Shady either with Z-Man or ours anywhere in storage. You can only get these at shop.saltstorm.com. Or, of course, today, 
on National Paddle Tail Day, you can go to slamshady.com, claim your free pack. All you have to do is cover the small shipping fee. If you're wondering, hey, why are they doing it? This is really the ultimate bribe, right? Let's just be transparent. This is a bribe of putting our best foot forward, giving you something for free that we know works, that is proven to work in hopes that you join us in our private insider club. No obligation for you to, but we hope you do. It's everything we wished was, you know, around back when we were, we were just, we, we didn't stink at fishing. We just weren't as consistent as we wanted to be, especially when the real world came, right? right. We went from being pretty good and because we had so much time to fish and then like life got in the way. You get married, you have kids, you get a job, and all of a sudden now, time is pretty doggone valuable and unless you're on the water every day like a guide it's tough to have it dialed in so our club yep. does that for you it's basically the ultimate shortcut cheat sheet of telling you exactly where to go fish with a network of other anglers in your area who are willing to share and willing to tell you exactly what's working right now to go out there and catch fish and every friday you put it together it's one of my favorite things is the smart fishing what are we calling it now? smart fishing S smart fishing game plan game so plan, game plan. Every, i was going to say blueprint for yeah, some every uh, pretty much is a blueprint oh. but yeah every every friday it's just it's a game plan of because we now have over 12,000 members in the club and so and i go out fishing every week obviously and i look i go through the community posts we have a private community for the club members and so all the members are posting we get like 40 to 50 posts a day really from texas all the way along the gulf Gulf Coast of Florida, up the Atlantic, all the way up to really Virginia. Yeah, with 12,500 members, I think, as of yeah, this morning. Yeah, so. and, and, uh, and Mike is over like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so I look at all those posts, and everybody, and it's just a really helpful network. And so people show where they are. They share what they're using, and there's a, there's a section for tips and tactics. And most people actually share the tips and tactics, whether they're, they're doing a slow bounce jig on the bottom or if they're doing a straight retrieve or if they're using – a slam shady yep. or a top water or whatever and so i go through and look at all those and then every friday is a is a condensed version in 10 minutes or less you get to know everything you need to know as far as what has been happening lately and also what might change based on the known weather forecast right so the forecast look at the forecast for the weekend if a front's coming in we say hey here's what's working now but hey it's probably gonna change yep. because of the front and then if uh, if there's no different weather pattern, then it's like, hey, just here's what's working, just do that. Yeah. But long story short, it's uh, for for those who are busy, which a lot of us are, uh, for ten minutes or less, just once a week, watch that video, and you'll have the latest and greatest game plan on what to do for targeting yep. redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, and lately we've been focused on sheep's head. Yeah, you'll you'll know more than ninety nine percent of every other weekend warrior out there. Even what ten percent of our members are full time guides and. Yep. And on top of the shortcuts, also discounts, all of our members. So make sure, if you're a current Insider member, you 12,500 watching, we are going to give you a free pack. I know that question is uh, going to come up. As a member, how do we get? There it is, right there, uh, Gene. So same site, slamshady.com. Even our members get a free one. We always take care of our members. And as a member, you also, on shop.saltstrom.com, you get 20% off of everything. And we have some massive, massive new discounts coming everything from popular sunglasses to rods reels i mean everything you can imagine uh we will have anywhere from 10 on the low end to even 40 50 percent off on the high end so we have members including us i mean we're using our same discounts save hundreds of dollars per year uh as an insider member so even if you're too busy to go fishing but you still like buying tackle like we all do you still can save a ton of money on uh, on that um let's let's talk about because someone brought it up Paddle tail versus swim bait. Um, yeah. <laughs> why National Paddle Tail Day? Is there even a difference? Um, yeah, I don't know. Some, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> um, it seems like you know a lot of people refer to these types of baits. You know, with the tails like this, as paddle tails. It's really some people say it's a tail that has a, a bait that has a tail that that wobbles and creates. Uh, it's somewhat paddle like. It's a paddle tail. And others, if it's if it's not like the straight, big, flat paddle, like that literally looks like a paddle, that's yeah. a paddle tail only. Uh, I don't know, I, I think it depends on who you ask. Um, I, I've always referred to these as paddle tail. A lot of people that I fish with all these say it's a paddle tail. And uh, so that's where we're, we're going, that's where we're going with. It's yeah, what do you guys think? Today. You guys leave some comments. Is watching Just Order Mod. Yeah, so uh, I'll just read off a couple names. Uh, well, I got to ring, <laughs> ring the cowbell. Yeah, <laughs> Richard in Virginia Beach, David Maple. Oh, whoop! I'm not going to give your address away. Uh, Connecticut, Carter in Sarasota, David. 
And Coco, James, Eli, what's up, Eli Coleman? What's up, dude? Uh, Ashley in Jacksonville, Ryan, St. Cloud, Jason, Sefter. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to go through a thousand pretty Yolks. quickly. Gregory Ramco, what's up, dude, if you're still Red. watching? Let's talk about the color. That's yeah, let's, so let's talk, talk about the color. And we're going to talk about rigging as well. Yep. But why Slam Shady? What's the deal with this color? What's so special about it? Why can't I buy it in stores? Why is everybody catching so many stinking fish with this? Why does it work so stinking well? Yeah, so so there is some science behind it. It's not it's not just hype. You know, there there is some science on 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 the color in particular, and then some of the the extra stuff that we did that's different. So we did a poll. Was that like last year when we polled the members yep. on? It was, hey, like, what's your favorite color? Because we're, we're trying to come out if with you, new... Yeah, if you could only fish with one color, like, yeah. what what would it be? If, like, you were stuck on a strand an island and had to catch fish. Like, what have you had the best results in? Like, yep. what do you trust more than anything else? Like, across all seasons, right, all year long, what's your choice? And hands down, it was white. White, like, white pearl. Yeah, white. Yep. Yeah, white or pearl, just, just a white color. And the science on why that is true is that going from, like, light water, clear water to dark water, the... You know, feel, feel like most people know that as you go darker water, you use a darker lure. It's kind of that, that's generally what's, what's happening. And then if you're going to clear water, you use a lighter lure. And the reason why white is so effective is because it, it actually does that. Because the white just reflects back whatever is in between the fish and the lure. Right? It's white. So if you're in dark water, the lure looks dark. Right? It literally will, will change color based on the water. But it'll be just a little bit lighter than the water itself, so it'll stand out. And then, so that's why white works. Yeah. And that's, that's the science of why white works. And what we did that's different than anything else out there is that's what, uh, what we call the slam shady, is that we put both silver and gold little specks in there so that it has some nice flash. Flash, so, baby. So, it, so yes, it and does. And it's loaded. Yeah, so it blends in with the water given that it's white, right, based on what the fish can see. But it has that extra little flash to make it stand out just a little bit more. And, uh, and so we were testing out. Just, I, I knew it would work. I didn't think it would be that much different than plain white, but like it shockingly is. Like I, I, on one of my first trips out, I uh, I caught one of the biggest snook. I've actually the biggest snook I've ever caught on artificial lure with with this color. Tony caught one of his biggest redfish. Peter Deeks. Yeah, Peter Deeks caught. Caught a giant he was one. embarrassed too because you know Deeks. He's a live bait guy. If you're watching Deeks, we love. <laughs> we're actually fishing with Deeks tomorrow, and uh, Deeks is like he calls me up. He's like, you won't believe this. He's like, I just caught one of the biggest redfish of my life on Slam Shady, and I'm embarrassed to tell him because he's a live bait guy. And it was a, it was a little, slightly over 50 inch redfish, and it looked like it would have been eating footballs with like bowling balls for dessert. It was so big, all caught on the Slam Shady. Yeah, and I was you know catching obviously redfish, snook, trout. Oh, I had more like, orders coming. Lewis. Yeah, my second day using it, I had uh, I was living on a canal in uh, Bokili at the time, and I had a tarpon literally skyrocket out of the water. It's a cool video. It was all on film. I was pulling up for another cast, and the tarpon literally came out of the water, and he grabbed it in the air. It actually had a hook set while the tarpon was in the air. It was, it was awesome. And uh, and again, that was um, that was the only tarpon. I, that was the first tarpon I caught in that canal because I was using other lures, other colors, and this yep. one this one seems to work. So it's uh, it is it really is surprisingly good, and there is science behind why this this type of color is is better than uh, than others yeah. for like for an entire year in, in different water colors yep and now once again if you're just tuning in free pack at least the first thousand people see how many we have left because uh, i know we're going to get orders on our shop page as well but a thousand people free pack if you're watching this right now still just, live just pay shipping just, yeah just, just pay literally the, small the exact little, shipping amount. and it's first class it's tracking you get a tracking number we don't make we lose money on this and all you have to do is go to slamshady.com. That's slamshady.com, slamshady.com, slamshady.com. Put in your information, put in your shipping, and cover this very small shipping fee, and this will go out. You can see our boys over here, Corey and Micah. They are <laughs> going to be working like crazy packing these things up and getting them out ASAP. They should go, most of them should go out tomorrow. It's first come, first serve, obviously, and we'll get these out ASAP. And the reason we're doing it once again is we know these work. We want more testimonials. We want more of you out there using it. And this is our way of putting our best foot forward that you ultimately join us in the Insider Club with our 12,000 plus members, new people joining every single day, really every single hour now. We've got new members joining. We have a whole private community that's built off of Facebook. It's, it's kind of like a Facebook and 
and old school forms merge together. So it still feels social and easy to use like Facebook, but it's super organized. So, and you can look by region, you know, whereas Facebook, if you're in a, like our Facebook group has got what, 62,000 people, yep. it's not organized at all. It's just a massive, I yes. don't know, just basically a wall that kind of disappears it's every day. It's basically a Facebook group, like a Facebook group for fishing on steroids. Yep. And, and because uh, we have a big Facebook group, and yes, it is good, but it's nowhere close to the Oh, it's community. laughable. Yeah, if you thought our stuff on YouTube was good, ha! <laughs> laughable. The good stuff is what we give our insiders. The YouTube's just the freebies, just like this. So claim yours today, slamshady.com, the Slam series. We know this works. Once again, we've been using this for the last few uh, few months. And, and a lot of you too have asked like, hey, why don't you do a ton more colors? We probably will, but why we're sticking with this, this is what we use. Like, let, show them your, basically your tackle box. I mean, it, it basically consists of this bag or two and a couple jig heads. Yeah, so what I've been using, I mean, this is it. This I, is what we I, fish I, with. I take two rods and I have one for the shallows, right? The weighted hook, that's why I yep. like this one because it covers the shallows and then same, same tail, but just rigging on jig head for the deeper water. What did you fish it. with the Mike Iaconelli? Yeah, I had Mike Same Iconelli. thing. Yeah, it's, uh, so Bass Legend. You know, I, I had the pleasure of uh, taking him out, and I was a little bit nervous because I just moved to St. Pete, and I really wasn't able to fish a ton. And so we just went out. He, he, he just wanted to catch fish. I told his wife, like, just put him on some fish. He'll have fun. And so we just went out fishing docks, and the, the, it was a, a cold front came in, so I, I knew the fish weren't going to be as shallow, so I just didn't even bother the shallow. All I did is I just used the the jig head with the paddle tail and we caught 11 species that day we caught yeah. a ton of fish a little bit of everything uh, mike caught a giant trout and he's like the best caster i've ever seen yeah so that dude's amazing he, he was uh i gotta was, go for the first three hours yeah it was cool watching him man how he he got so far underneath the docks yeah, that's insane i was worried for him i was <laughs> like dude if you can just strike back then there's no way you're getting that yeah, out yeah so fortunately the trout that he caught it hit on the on the side of the dock and he pulled it out but it was like a tw good 24 inch trout and i i hooked into a giant snook that but i was up into the dock it broke me off but it was a, it was a really nice snook we caught redfish we caught trout we caught barracuda what else did we catch that day? We caught some mango snapper on it. Like literally tons like, of grouper. Oh yeah, a bunch of grouper. Grouper were destroying it. Was that insane. Thing. And then obviously like Jackson ladyfish and stuff, like yeah. Spanish mackerel. Uh, just a, just a, a large variety again because anything that eats small bait fish will eat this lure. And as long as you rig it properly for the depth you're targeting, which is why it's really important to to not only have a good lure but to know how to rig it to change your depths. That's the magic. Well, let's go into that. What do you think? And Carol, uh, have you? Can you post the Slam Shady link? Or have you already done that? Look at you, Carol. She's so on good. It. She's on it. She's sitting there in the back saying, "Please don't put me on the live video. Please <laughs> don't put me in the live video. Let me just be back here and make sure you guys don't screw up." Orders are coming in. John from Long Key, Florida. Gene, man, um, there are a ton of these. I. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how quickly we go through a thousand guys. What do you think? What's the over under? Three o'clock, two o'clock, definitely going to happen to uh, today. So make sure once go once again, slamshady.com, slamshady.com, claim yours. We will also send you via electronic email, right? Is how it goes. Uh, a little kind of like a mini course yep. on how to rig them. So we're going to do it real quick live, yeah. but we'll also have one that's up close because I know some of these camera angles aren't as uh, maybe as close. Some are maybe too close. You guys are looking to my ear and stuff, which is a little bit creepy. But we'll actually send you a little mini course on how to rig these to maximize your strikes. And no, no kidding, guys. If you get to go fishing with us, and we're going to have some contests for that this year, you will see. I mean, this is what we're using. Uh, I mean, right? We keep it so, so simple. And we, yeah, we are playing around with a couple uh, you know, different colors, maybe for different... Uh, different yeah. seasons. But always says it on the lures. And that's yeah. part, part of what we do is just go and use lures and, and report what's working and what's yep. not. And uh, and until, obviously, I'll, until this stops working, I'll at least have it on one rod. Yep. Oh, one more thing. Besides being scented and seven, these are now three and a half. I know we, I don't think we covered that. Yep. So we had, on the Z-Man version, we had the three and the four. Those are the two top sellers by far. And so we got this mold at three and a half to kind of be right in between. It's been our favorite so far. Once again, the action on this thing is almost unfair. Uh, the, the Slam Shady color, which you cannot buy in stores. Once again, almost unfair. And now we're gonna talk about how to rig it to have an unfair advantage. Correct. What do we got? All right, so back to before, right? So the, 
the two core things is to have you know, if you're if just know where the fish are going to be, and that's obviously we cover that in the in the. Wait Friday. a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I just saw Micah. You just bought while you're over here. <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Look at this dude. I can't He's, wait, he can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is hilarious. That was not. not I'm looking at it. I was like, why is Mike in Winter Haven, Florida? <laughs> Wasn't playing on that one. Uh, uh, so, Corey, yeah. do not pack Micahs. <laughs> not get shit. <laughs> so, so the the key is is matching the the depth of where you think the fish are going to be. And if you don't know, again, that's another reason why to, to join the club because every Friday we sh we share the depths to be covering, and not only just you know obviously it changes during the day in many cases. So in the morning we should be doing, then in the afternoon depending on the weather. But uh, if you're if you know the fish are going to be in the shallows, the weighted hook is the way to go. And uh, the best hook that I found so far for this bait is this three yacht owner twist lock hook. This has been uh, this has been really my, one of my favorite hooks for a long time. And how it works, it just has this little twist feature that goes twist right into the head of the bait. And that's again that's why it's important to have an aerodynamic head because this is what impacts the water. So it'll swim through the water nicely. Just get it right in the middle, screw it on, lock. Yep, now it's uh, locked into place, as Joe said. Well, and, twist uh, lock, yeah. And so, and so now the key for rigging, this is for all soft plastics, is that when you put the hook in, it has to be done in a way that has the bait looking nice and straight. Here, can, show, show Cody. Cody, you zoomed in on that yeah, bad boy? There, oh, yeah. There cannot be, if you go too far, there's going to be a big curve, as you can see there. And if, they, if you have that curve, it's rigged like this. It's going to look terrible in the water, and you're not going to catch a thing. It's called a helicopter. It'll be helicopter, and it'll be twisting the water like that, and nothing looks Kids natural. think this is cool, but fish don't. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to twist look, every Daddy, line. Look, Daddy, it's helicopter. And, and, oh, we ain't going to catch nothing with that. Yeah, and it's going to twist every line. It's, <laughs> it's just really bad. It's like it's the worst thing to do. But if you if you take the hook, you know, I just I usually put my finger on, on the place where the hook would naturally go, and then just put the hook straight through that point in the middle, come out the top. Ooh, that actually wasn't uh, Oh, oh, this, on top. oh, this is live. That's what happens. Doing it, doing it so we do on our live here. podcast. So there, it's uh, it's right out the top. Oh no, that's straight. And uh, so now you can see that it is it's aerodynamic, right? It doesn't have any crazy kinks, and the fact that the head is aerodynamic, you know, or I guess I should say hydrodynamic in this case, is going to swim through the water really nice, and this will catch this will literally catch anything that's feeding up in the shallows. Any predator up in the shallows that's feeding on bait fish. We'll eat this. Oh, Captain Gene just ordered one. Captain Gene, saw you there, dude. Peace. All right, so I, and talk about too, uh, making this a little bit more weedless. Yeah. So when this when this does swim, it, it'll swim with the weight down, which is why I really like these weighted hooks. I used to use the worm hooks for a while that don't have the weight, and when you have that, especially with the paddle tail, it's really prone to helicoptering. And again, which is really bad. You don't want that. It looks bad. It looks unnatural, and it'll twist up your line. But when you have this weighted hook, right, this bottom portion is weighted down, so it's going to swim in the water naturally. And this paddle tail, it'll flutter a little bit. It, it'll flutter a little bit side to side, which is great, but it won't be fluttering all the way around. If you do see it fluttering all around, that means that it wasn't rigged properly, that, and you need to just re-rig it. I was talking about uh, Texas, like, actually. Right, okay, but, yeah. but, yeah, if we're going over grass flats, like, lately, I, I haven't even been bothering with, with making it weedless because I'm going over grass flats, and so if I hit grass, it's going to bump it up over. If I hit an oyster... It's going to bump it up over, but if you are concerned with getting snagged, you can... Because I've been tossing it like this, even for bass fishing, yep. just around like some pretty thick stuff, and yeah. now yeah, you're, you're fishing, stuck on nothing. Yeah, if you're fishing really heavy structure, if you saw what I did there, is you know the, the hook goes out of the bait naturally, but then you just kind of push it forward and up, Here, let me, uh... and just dip the hook in there, and that will leave the hook point in the bait, just barely, so that as soon as a fish hits, it's going to expose the hook. You're going to let me go get Facebook fish. some love while you get the other one. And uh, but but if Facebook's if, been too far away from us, <laughs> guys, you see that? Oh yeah. And so Let's... next one, we'll talk about the uh, the jig head. And so this is for deeper water. And and so again, fishing anywhere really more than two feet of water, I go to a jig head. And then it's, then it really depends on the actual depth that I'm covering and the current. Uh, real quick, uh, Rob asked what they're made of. They're made of delicious redfish, trout, snook, and flounder uh, scent bait. <laughs> it's all, it's soft plastic, just like most you know most swim bait paddle tails. So it's uh, soft plastic. It is scented. It's proprietary. Can't buy them in stores, so we can't give you our specific formula. Uh, but just know that this 
is made to catch any kind of fish you want to catch. Hope that helps. All right, so I don't even, I don't even know what they're made of, do you? Yes, I don't know. Well, Secret recipe. I think, well, I think the formula is on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, uh, back to the jig head, right? Covering deeper water, any, anywhere more than two feet of water, the jig head is really, really important. Again, if you're not getting, especially in the wintertime where we are now, if you're not getting down in their face, they're not going to eat it. All right, they're not going to be traveling a long distance to eat. So jig head, really, really important. But, you know, this is a totally the, a traditional jig head, open face. And that is great for fishing areas that don't have a ton of structure. But if you're in an area with a lot of structure, then you'll need like a weedless version, right? And so here's the uh, a weedless version that uh, we actually sell these on our shop too. If you, if you need some, really, really effective. This is what I use when dock fishing. It is a game changer for dock fishing. It will relieve a lot of frustration on getting snagged on either dock pilings or, or especially uh, like crab traps. A lot of people put crab traps under the docks. And so if you don't have a weedless option, you're going to have a lot of frustration when fishing docks or any kind of hard structure. So if you're fishing hard structure with these, which I recommend because that's where a lot of fish eat, um, these weedless jig heads are really, really important. And there's another option is that this is a newer one. It's called the Texas Eye Jig Head. And I've been using this. It's, uh, it is pretty weedless. It's almost like a blend between like a worm hook and a jig head. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's, it actually caught a, a really nice snook with it a couple weeks ago on, on the slam shade. It was like a 35 inch snook fishing docks. And I just got really lucky. I got, I pulled them out of there. Uh, but how to rig this, I'll go ahead and do it is you, you tear off the front, right? We're, we're now with the jig head. So it's a little bit better having the flat surface, the flat top. And don't bite it. It actually says on here, you cannot eat these. Uh, apparently, in some states like California, you actually have to say that it's harmful to eat these and can cause cancer and reproductive harm. Yeah, so don't don't bite them. Don't eat them. Don't bite them. Just pull them. Just pull them. And so, yeah, how this works is you basically rig it very similar to the other one. And so now I rigged it up. I got it up over the, the spike. And now I just need to make sure that when I put the hook in, it's coming in. It's coming out of the natural point, right? So put it up in there, straight down the middle. And now we have a bait that's it's really a blend between a jig head and a weighted hook, right? So now I can get down deeper while also having the ability to go weedless. So if I want to go weedless, I can just bury the point. And that is, uh, that is really just another way to have a weedless jig. My preference, again, I've been testing these out. My preference is the, the traditional jig head hook, but this, this works great too. I really like this for fishing mangroves and areas that, that have uh, kind of mangroves with seagrass where I kind of need a little bit of weedless action, but not as much. But, uh, but in general, I find, oh, I find oh, myself boy. going back to that, that, um, oh. that weedless jig head more than anything else. That means about 30 or so more orders uh, came in while you've been talking. Uh, flying in, if you're just tuning in, all you have to do is go to slamshady.com. That's slamshady.com. Claim your free pack. It is National Paddle Tail Day, one of the finest American holidays. And that is nationalpaddletail.com. We're giving away a free pack of these brand new Slam Shady 2.0, seven per pack, three and a half inches of pure awesome sauce. And they are scented as well. Super easy to rig. We're going to give you a, a completely free little rigging mini course as, uh, as well. And all we ask in return is that you use them. Put them to the test. Send us your fish pics there, Facebook. And uh, we are trying to break a world record, too. We're at 47 total documented species. And we have that list as well. We'll be on that uh, same little mini course if you want to see the different species of, of, of fish that have been landed, confirmed that have been landed on here. And we're not even ca counting like all the different types of sharks. I think we just put like shark as one category. Yep. And it uh, been pretty crazy. And then ultimately, we hope you join us in the Insider Club. It is our way of putting our, our best foot forward, giving you guys some love on a lure that we know works. But ultimately, as you all know, we could give you a thousand of these, which would be pretty awesome. We'll probably give away a thousand but not to one person. And if you're in a dead zone, you're still going to catch fish. So the ultimate goal, obviously, is to give you the best lure that gives you the highest chance of getting strikes and also to put you in the best spot, right? Best spot at the right time, right lure, boom, bam, sham, slam. Yeah, because right. yeah, because no lure is going to take you from here to there, right? And that's what that was a mistake that I made for many years. Yep. I, I literally spent all my 
yard work money and weed picking money in high school. Well, I don't know. This one might. This big. Yeah, this one. This one. Four foot one. Yeah, but it might do that. But what what I was doing is I was chasing the I was chasing the pill, right? I was chasing the and I and I thought I thought it was lure. I, I was like, okay, I don't have the right lure. I don't have the nicest reel, the nicest rod. In reality, I just wasn't putting myself in the feeding zones consistently. Yep. And and when you do when you, when you put yourself in feeding zones consistently, you'll be catching fish consistently. Like if if uh, you know there's sometimes there's there's days when like they'll only hit one lure, but in many cases as long as you have a lure that's good, which again which this is, the, and put it in front of a hungry fish or at least a fish that's somewhat somewhat hungry, it'll eat it. And that's why this I really like this in particular. Where I just use this one. I know it works. And then when I'm out on the water. I don't need to second guess myself on does this work or not. I focus on going out and finding the feeding zones and finding the fish. And, uh, and my results have totally skyrocketed once I, I just put the focus on, on mastering like one lure yep. and, and then focusing on, on, on where the fish are and why they're there and then, or why they're not there, right? And to, just to make sure that I'm, I'm always in the feeding zones. And so I highly recommend doing that as well. You know, don't have uh, 8,000 lures in your tackle box. You really just need a, a handful and uh, just one good one and then go out, find the fish. And then once you're on the fish, then you can start switching lures and, and doing some smaller tweaks to really, really hone in on. But this has been just an excellent bait all around. And I thought it was gonna be worse during the winter. Um, and it proved to be, it's been awesome all winter long. So this color, the fact that it works in the winter, which is typically when the bait fish aren't around. Uh, I know it was awesome during the summer and the fall. And I haven't done it yet in the spring, but based on the fall, it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. Yep. So I can't wait. Yeah, and once again, we've been using them all uh, all year, 2020, meaning all year, and they work. Got a little good scent on there, perfect size, super easy to rig, great action, and if you missed it, we're giving a pack away for free. I'm guessing most people are probably like already already leaving and have left us. We're gonna do a quick little tour and show how many how many you guys got now. You get. I, I lost count like 10 right. hours ago. Around 800. 800 packed. All right. Well, we're gonna got to give away a thousand here today, at, uh, at least. So claim yours. Go to slamshady.com. All you have to do is cover the small shipping charge, and we will get this out. We want your feedback. We're constantly trying to improve. We'll probably have a Slam Shady 3.0 at some point. But you owe it to yourself to claim your free pack. There are no strings attached. All you have to do is cover the shipping fee. You cannot buy these in stores. They are proven and guaranteed to work. In fact, if you don't like them, uh, send them back. We'll refund your shipping fee, right? Yep. Make it a complete no-brainer because uh, we know these things work. And ultimately, we hope that you join us inside of the Insider Club with all 12,500 of us as of today. I have to imagine there's some more people joining as we, uh, as we speak. And then you can get 20% off these and all kinds of other rods, reels, tackle, not four, four and a half foot uh, paddle tails. We gotta, we gotta do a video of casting underneath the dock or something. Yeah, Maybe go marlin know. fishing well, with I it. Don't know, I don't know what to rig that puppy on. But, uh, but, but yeah, with, the, more, with dynamite. Most importantly, if, I mean, to get the biggest results, yes, these base work, they're incredibly, they're incredibly good. But to, to have the best results, be part of the club. If you haven't yet joined, just try it out. There's, there's no contracts. You can stay as long or as little as you like. That is literally what what can take you from here to here. That is what's yep. going to make the biggest difference. A lure will be helpful. This will absolutely catch fish, and but but to really see the biggest results, it's the club. That's really what we do everything for. That's what we made these baits for. To be honest, that's Salt Strong Club. Yep. On here, we were going to take it private where only club members can get it. Uh, we did that for a little bit on the prior ones and, and had a lot of uh, a lot of feedback saying, hey, like, why are you doing this? So okay, we'll just put our best foot forward. Yep. Make it available to anybody. Uh, club members obviously get a better a better rate, but more importantly, the club members get the latest and greatest tips and the latest trends on exactly what types of spots to go to every single week, so that they can maximize the results. And the the the, the feedback we've had from members has been amazing, as far as just people catching their their biggest slams, their biggest fish, their most fish, and uh, and so highly recommend giving it a shot. And now meetups too. So if you just yep. want to meet up with other other local angler, anglers in your area, I know uh, Wyatt just put one on in North Carolina, had one in Virginia not too long, had one in Florida last uh, last month. So constantly just, just having fun. It's our it's our family. And uh, the private community is pretty awesome too. We, we have it custom built. There's no cursing, no negativity. So if you're sick and tired of all the stuff in Facebook and all the public forums, um, and that's why we don't spend that much time in that Facebook group anymore. We're in the community, positive people, helping out each other, helping, positive. Let's do a quick little uh, little tour. Let's do I don't it. know if you can do it or not, Cody, but 
Hey, Luke, you hold uh, Instagram. Gotcha. Show all these packs. I'm going to make sure I do this without... Um... Hey, guys, slamshady.com. That is the site. Hopefully, it is not shut down with all the traffic we're uh, getting to it. This giant, Let's see if I can uh, this flip giant this. Lure. And there's the big boy it's lure. A beast. There's Cody, some of my uh, daughter's uh, <laughs> amazing artwork. Check out all of these. These dudes have been busy. Holy smokes. More back here, more back here. Are there more in here too? You guys got them all out of there? Yeah, we got them all out of here. Jeepers creepers. All right. And we told Carol we're going to put her in Slam Shades. Whoop. <laughs> you back here running the show. I am. Those are some yeah, so uh, if you awesome get these, you'll be getting one of these Should in the remember. mail. We'll send them within 24 hours. And so it'll be first class mail. Claiming your free pack, you get them dude. In, uh, Sly two Fox. To three days. So look for this in the mail. <laughs> and it'll obviously have your address right there. And uh, open up and ready to catch some fish. Let's do it. Hey, slamshitty.com. Pow! <laughs> we out. Peace. How you turn this thing off? Oh, you probably have to hit end. Top right. <laughs> so simple. <laughs>